What's up, everyone? Oh, Happy nice. New Happy Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And welcome to Geek by, by Heart. Heart. I'm Jay. I'm Lainey. And today we're going to be talking about Bumblebee. Yes. The last movie of the year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Bumblebee mm. that is not associated with the Michael Bay Transformer. No, so it's not. Even though he was not. an executive producer, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Was. But for, all, for overall purposes, not the same thing. So... I mean, I'm actually excited to talk about this movie. Yeah, well, you know, it's a lot to talk about. Um, you know, just to kick some dirt on Michael Bay. <laughs> <I> like that. <laughs> you know you love Michael Bay movies. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Bumblebee. <laughs> oh my God, it was, it is literally a really good movie. It was really a good movie. It was a good uh, movie. I, I can't deny it. It, it, it. it surprised me because I was literally I out that. of even thinking about anything with my Transformers, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I actually didn't want to go to see it until I saw it what was coming out of it. I was like, okay, maybe. Because I thought, I was like, you know, I'll just wait until next year and when it comes out on DVD or something and rent it or something like that, so. Yeah, yeah and, and you know, for, and because of Travis Scott, you know, being a part of it, I was like, Travis Knight, sorry, not Travis Scott. Yeah. <laughs> He, uh, him being a part of it, I was like, you know, let me see a second eye of the visual or the vision for a new Transformer. The the movie stars Haley Se um, Steinfeld. She yeah. she was in um, Spider Man. Mm -hmm. She was Gwen Stacy. She's yeah. having a monster year. Yeah. And, Go and, girl. And of course you have John Cena in it. Mm -hmm. You had uh, George Lindenberg Jr. Mm -hmm. um, that was the uh, the boyfriend. Okay. The, the, yeah, the young kid. Okay. And the movie is directed by Travis Knight, not Scott Knight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even know Travis why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he did he did um Kubo and the Two Strings. Okay, so for the synopsis of the movie. All right. Yeah, what is it? So you had uh, this big war in Cybertron. Mm -hmm. Cybertron, you everyone know that you know that's where the, the Transformers are from. Oh, okay. And the Autobots had to you know disperse. Derail. Yeah, they had to go different directions. And okay. Whatever. So Optimus Prime like told Bumblebee that he need to go to Earth. Okay. Just to lay low. And okay. Whatever. Upon there, he made up with Ailey. Uh, Ailey is the uh, the female um, human that was you know interacted with Bumblebee. Mm -hmm. And um, you know they get to they, they they get to know each other and they live together in some sort of like a like like something like an ET type thing. Yeah, it's basically yeah. Bumblebee's origin story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, and yeah. Charlie. And Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Charlie. Charlie, Charlie. It's Charlie. basically Charlie. Bumblebee's like origin story. Meet up with Charlie. Mm -hmm. Boom. Let's go. Yeah. So you know, of course, we're gonna be doing our um, our good geek, good geek, bad geek. Yep. Good geek. Okay, so for my good geek, mm -hmm. I had a couple. Yeah. All right. First, I do like the Cybertron. I wanted I wanted to be more Cybertron actually. Oh, okay. I like the Cybertron sequence mm -hmm. um, and the fight scenes over there. Yeah. I thought those were pretty cool. Okay. I liked Bumblebee. Mm -hmm. Like I I liked Bumblebee and I loved the fact that like even though obviously CGI and everything or whatever, but he felt very organic um, to the point that where you could read emotions from even the way that his face moved or the way that his body gestured. And it was those little things that brought you into his characterization, which I really, really appreciated. I like the fact that they had basically three Transformers. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bumblebee yeah, yeah, and, the, and, and the two Decepticons. Mm -hmm. I love that because I was like, it made you focus on the story and it made you focus on their motivations rather than being like, oh, is that Transformer? Oh, is that Transformer? Oh, is that Transformer? Oh, is that Transformer? I remember him. I don't remember him. So, like, it was a lot of different things that you did not have to focus on. You just had to focus on those three ones. And that was it. And I appreciate that, too. I love that um, it went away from the over-sexualized chick thing that Michael Bay just loves doing especially in the first th no actually in the first four I think the, the fifth I'm one was kind of toned you know I can't even speak about the fifth one because I didn't even get through the fifth one 
I, could, I couldn't stand the fifth one, so I will not even speak about the fifth one. I'll talk about the first four. And the fact that, like, you know, I could, again, focus on characters rather than being like, really? I love that it was just about the girl and how she was and not how, what she could mm. give out. Yeah. And I like their bond mm. between Charlie and Bumblebee. And Bumblebee. Okay. I thought it was so cute. I, I thought it was authentic. Too. I thought, like... I had to still remember that she probably was acting against a character or a green screen mm. and you couldn't tell that. You thought that she was actually acting against yeah. the car itself yeah. and I thought that that was pretty cool too. For my bad geek. Outside of her and Bumblebee, I actually didn't like Charlie. Okay. Like I didn't, I didn't like her as a person and I actually understood like the backstory of her struggling to find herself I guess in the wake of her father dying and her giving up swimming or I should say diving mm -hmm. but like I just I just didn't like her and I don't think it's because of Haley Steinberg and the way that she acted mm -hmm. I think she was fine I didn't like the character mm -hmm. and how the character was oh, okay. and and that kind of made like it be distasteful matter of fact I actually didn't like the family now that I'm thinking about it mm -hmm. Like the brother was the only one that kind of liked it, to be like, okay, I could take you as you are. Everybody else, I was like, eh, whatever. Um, but I wasn't really too attached to that family at all. So I think that as much as I love the fact that it was going away from a Michael Bay vision, I missed the explosions. <laughs> I mean, there were enough, um, but I do like my action, and I thought that could have been a tad bit more. Um, but I did understand that again because you are trying to see that they are trying to do a rebooted or new direction for the Transformer franchise mm -hmm. and I do get that but like I said I, I like my action so it's like oh, I need you to have some more well uh, you know most of the stuff that you said was uh, it's pretty much on point um, however I do have to agree and disagree with some but hey okay. Let's see, first time on Bad Geek, the only thing that I really do not like um, was that there was not enough war in Cybertron. You know, I mean, that's basically the whole, the whole beginning of the movie, it, it had that, that action, you know, all excitement, everything, and I always wanted to know how that war started. Mm -hmm. You know, if, mm -hmm. if you could probably get a much more or another mm -hmm. sequel that developed on the, the, the beginning of the war on Cybertron. Agreed. Um, I, I would take that, but that's the only thing that I don't like about this movie. My first good geek is um, the Cybertron intro scene was life for real. I love the the, the 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 intro on Cybertron. You know, it was. Was, was well done. Visual effects for the entire movie, for the entire Bumblebee movie, was awesome. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I must mark this again because this, I'm, one, I'm one of those guys that really don't like the, the, the camera close-up shots of people of fighting scenes and you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like the cameraman is like, oh, oh shit, there's a fist. <laughs> He's so Let's silly. You know, I, I He's so it. silly. So you actually see the movements of the robots fighting. This, the, 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 you know, the, 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 the ducking, the, the, the flipping, the boxing, the punching, the kicking, all of that. And it was, it was good. Uh, to me, how I felt about Bumblebee, it felt like an origin story for Transformers. And, and and I wish that things was like that before Michael B come and fucked it up. Yeah. You know, definitely. Because it really, not a lot of people is gonna like uh, this Bumblebee because as, as usual, you, what you say, you like the explosion and all that. But I really feel like there should be a base, there should be a route for this movie. So, you know, maybe can move on to a much more bigger uh, action type um, scenery in other movies. Um, yeah, another thing um, for my next uh, good geek, the movie didn't have any racial tone, no, as you were saying, no female being sexually exposed and mm -hmm. all that, as, as according to Michael Shitty Bay. <laughs> you know, I, I can, I really do love this movie, but just because of that. I enjoyed the movie was focused on Bumblebee and Charlie. It wasn't focused on something else or a different 
you know issue that's going mm -hmm. on or some event that's maybe going to happen in the next 12 20 years from now everything happened right there with charlie and bumblebee yeah and I, agree. I, and I, I respect that you know what i mean and and that's basically my good gig that's my good gig that was like your role <laughs> yeah my role like good gig <laughs> okay that one definitely so you know um one of the things that i wanted to talk about is um what will what was what what is going to happen after this what, what's what will uh the transformers go on into doing after this i mean it makes sense that um optimus prime I th okay give me a second i think optimus prime actually did meet up with him at the last part yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah so it makes sense for like optimus prime and the other autobots to come to earth mm -hmm. and probably the set the cons to follow them and mm -hmm. then bring that pain mm -hmm. and war mm -hmm. to earth mm -hmm. um now i think my question is how are they going to retain the fact that again i think it works so well that you only had three to to work on or mm -hmm. to focus on mm -hmm. whereas when you're going to have future ones it's not just going to be about bumblebee and his journey is going to be about the autobots yeah exactly you know what i mean mm -hmm. so how are you going to figure that transition and still hold like a key small cast mm -hmm. to, tr to to really focus on i think that's going to be an intriguing thought process to to exactly. pander on he found the whole retrospective of of transformers he kicked it up he kicked it back it to the 80s back to the 80s, 80s yeah Wait, yeah because yeah. you can actually see the transformers that we are used to you know with michael bay movies mm -hmm. you can't tell who is who because his little that's true you know is it the gimmicks with the with the with the transformer how they look and whatever and they with look like cars ones, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. now yeah exactly and not then yeah with these ones because optimus prime looks like optimus prime when you see him on the on the bridge or when you see him in the beginning of the movie mm -hmm. you know just like how you see you, you have the toy transformers mm -hmm. that's how optimus, optimus prime looks and bumblebee looks the same and, and all of them starscream no um it, yeah starscream sounded like starscream mm -hmm. you know it, it it's it's just crazy and, and i really do appreciate that he found the whole retrospective of of transformers he kicked it up he kicked it back it to the 80s back to the 80s 80s yeah Wait, yeah because yeah. you can actually see the transformers that we are used to you know with michael bay movies mm -hmm. you can't tell who is who because his little that's true you know is it the gimmicks with the with the with the transformer how they look and whatever and they with look like ones, cars yeah now exactly, yeah, exactly. and not then yeah with these ones because optimus prime looks like optimus prime when you see him on the on the bridge or when you see him in the beginning of the movie mm -hmm. you know just like how you see you, you have the toy transformers mm -hmm. that's how optimus, optimus prime looks and bumblebee looks the same and, and all of them starscream no um it, yeah starscream sounded like starscream mm -hmm. you know it, it it's it's just crazy and, and i really do appreciate that that travis scott did yeah and I another agree. thing of the movie is that um what i do what i do notice is that i don't think it's been doing well in the cinemas just because um you know we we'll had to go up against aquaman yeah you know and spider-verse I mean? so yeah, I, 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 it had civ competition yeah i wish it wish it i wish it that came out a bit earlier in the year yeah you know just to that get people that. could focus on yeah, it. exactly yeah well how much you did it though what's your what's your reading to it what's your rating i'm gonna call 4.2 4.2 4 out of 5 yeah okay good um i'm gonna go with 4.7 out of 5 okay just because it was a really solid um transformers movie and of course transformers is my favorite toy my favorite uh pastime cartoon mm. um, okay so yeah i i, I can do that <laughs> shiro is mine yeah, and jim exactly. and the holograms yeah yeah thank you guys for uh for tuning in with us and um listening to us and our mumbling of being, being a geek. <laughs> stupid. yeah and we're gonna be doing um we're gonna be doing our best and worst of 2018. Mm -hmm. so, so please subscribe time. to join the conversation comment below let us know and we will see you on the flip side peace geekdom boom boom boom